to the Lord, and you should be ready to give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. We greet you all in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the King, eternal, immortal, the only invisible wise God, who alone has all power, who possesses all knowledge, all strength, all might. He is the only potentate. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And we have access to him. Praise the Lord. He has given us access to his blessings and his grace, his love, for he have chosen us. Jesus told the disciples, say, you didn't choose me. I chose you. And that is a privilege. That is an honor to be chosen by the hand of God to allow him to use you as a ready vessel. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give honor to all who honor is due to District Elder Clarence Johnson in his absence, to District, uh, to Elder Ronald Golden, praise the Lord, to Elder Joe Hillmeadow, to Elder Vaughn McCray Jr., to all of our deacons and to the mothers and the missionaries, uh, to everyone in the house, especially if we have any visitors that are here today. We are happy that you came to be with us. Praise the Lord. And we want you to feel at home. Praise, get your praise on. Don't just come to church and sit like you're watching Netflix. Praise the Lord. This isn't Netflix. This is the worship of Almighty God in which everyone in the house can be a participant in giving him the praise that is due his name. We thank God for his goodness towards us. He sustained us. Praise the Lord. Anybody, the Lord touch your body from last week to now. Praise the Lord. A little sick, but the Lord has given you the strength. Praise the Lord to, to overcome and to be in the midst of God's house. We uh, thank God for Elder Vaughn McCray Jr. and Sister Deshonda. Today they celebrate one year, their wedding anniversary. Praise the Lord. I said you got one down and 70 more to go. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for them and to our birthdays. We have a sister on the 28th is Sister Priscilla Gather's birthday. And on the 30th is Sister Connie Brown and also Sister Nadia Davis. So let's give them a shout in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we celebrate the blessings of the Lord in people's lives, there's still those who are going through, those who are experiencing sadness, grief, loneliness because of the loss of their loved ones. And today I want you to remember Deacon uh, William Dixon's family, praise the Lord, remember uh, Sister Janet James and her family, she lost her son, remember Brother Marvin Moore and the Jenkins family. The Lord transitioned, praise the Lord, Mother Shirley Moore. Also need you to pray for Brother Kyle and his family and the Henry family. He lost his uncle. And on yesterday, I received news to pray for, uh, to uh, announce uh, Mother Willa Mae Goodman lost her brother. So pray for the Goodman and the Hollis family. Also, Mother Eula Taylor requests ta uh, prayer for her daughter-in-law, Jean Taylor. Mother Susanna Chester, who is here this morning, we praise God for her. Praise the Lord. Mother Chester is determined she's going to press her way. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Remember District Elder Charles Fears. Praise the Lord. Pretty much for Mother McCray, she took the booster shot. And she's still feeling a little down. I uh, want you to pray much for the Seegers family. Praise the Lord. Mother Seegers will be funeralized on Thursday. In, uh, let me have, I have it here, October the 28th at the Earl L. Foster Funeral Home. So pray for the family. We will post that information, send it out on email. And also the funeral service for Brother Larry Henry, who's Kyle's uncle. That uh, service will be on Wednesday, October the 27th. We will list these uh, announcements, but we want you to pray for the families. 
Praise the Lord. Many things are wrought through the power of prayer. Praise the Lord. I learned a long time ago, a lot of talk doesn't change anything. It's when you can pray and ask God to move and the Lord hears your prayer. How many of y'all believe the Lord still hears prayer? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Truly, God is a wonderful Savior, and I'll praise him till I die. Praise the Lord. The song that I think about when I see saints press their way, when you know they're not feeling well, is I'm determined to walk with Jesus. Oh, yes, I am. Through hard trials, tribulations, persecutions, I'll be faithful. For I'm determined to walk with Jesus. Oh, yes, I am. Let us bring our hearts and minds into the place where we go before the throne of grace. And we ask the Lord's blessing. Those of you who are viewing through Facebook, we praise God for you and thank you. I want you to know that we're praying for you. Praying for your families and your situations. Because we are assured that we have that blessed assurance that Jesus Christ can minister on your behalf. Let us bow our heads as we go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious God and Father, Lord, we praise you and we love you. We thank you for your grace and mercy that you've lavished upon our lives. Lord, you alone are worthy. We recognize we're unworthy of any of your blessings, but yet you bless us still. Lord, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for loving us so that you gave your son so that we could be saved. Lord God, my father, today we've announced names of those who are going through. Please minister in their lives. Help them and support them through this difficult times. Those that are troubled, give them peace, Lord. Those that are sick, bring healing into their lives. Those that are unsaved, Lord, save them. Jesus, oh God, you are a rescuer. Lord God, we pray right now that you bless this house. You bless your sons and your daughters. Remember those who are not here yet, Lord. Those seniors who are unable to be here. But Jesus, you can visit them right where they are. In the name of Jesus, give us a word that will encourage us, that will uplift us and edify us. Oh, God, send your anointing power. Break the chains of the enemy. Satan, the Lord is against you, and I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let the free spirit of the Holy Ghost, Lord, let it erupt in the service, Lord, and bless your people. Minister to them as only you can. Lord, I ask you now in Jesus' name, do it for your glory is my prayer. And those who believe the Lord heard the prayer, let them shout hallelujah. Oh, shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to speak to you today from the Old Testament book of Joshua, chapter number one. And I will read in your hearing from verses 1 through 10. So just bear with me. Praise the Lord. Uh, I don't know who will show up today. The old guy or the young guy. But whoever shows up, I hope they bless us. Praise the Lord with a word from the Lord. The book of Joshua chapter number 1. And I will read from verses 1 through 10. And those of you who can stand, please stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Now, seniors don't have to stand, all right? But you young people, nothing wrong with your knees. Praise the Lord. The word of God reads as follows. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, unto the land which I do give them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given to you, 
as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people you will divide for an inheritance the land, which I swore unto your fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that you may observe and do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Don't turn from the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever thou goest. Let the people of God say amen, and you may be seated. I preached this message about seven years ago at the International Holy Convocation of the Churches of Our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe it was in Florida. I dedicated this to our late distinguished leader, Chief Apostle William L. Bonner, who had deposited so much in my life and in the lives of many others. He had given his life, his substance, his strength to the churches of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the people of God. And today I want to personally honor his memory for his vision, for his tenacity, and for his sacrifice towards the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. From the text that I read to you, I want to speak to you from the subject I'm blessed, highly favored, and I know it. Let the people of God say amen. amen. This scripture that I read to you from the book of Joshua, it is the historical setting of this text, and it recounts the transitioning of the leadership over the people of God. Moses has led the children of Israel for 40 years, beginning in the land of Egypt, when the Lord called him to be a leader over his sheep. He led them from beginning from the land of Egypt, uh, where he died on Mount Nebo. For four decades, Moses was a shepherd over the sheep of God, receiving instructions, receiving information that God wanted to tell his people. I don't know if you realize, but the Lord speaks to you. The Lord leads you. The Lord guides you. Even when you don't want to hear it even when you're not obedient to the direction that he's given you. Just because you don't obey it doesn't mean the Lord isn't speaking. Praise the Lord. You're just not hearing what the Lord is saying to you. It is here at Mount Nebo where God relieves Moses of his leadership role over the nation of Israel. And the Lord transfers the responsibility to his servant Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses, the mighty leader, has come to the end of his divine assignment. 
an assignment in which he has faithfully performed. He has led the children of Israel out of Egyptian slavery, through the battles in the wilderness, through harsh times. God blessed Moses and gave him the strength to perform all that he had commanded. Because the Lord won't ask you to do something and won't provide you with the necessary tools that you need in order to accomplish it. The Lord won't send you on an impossible mission unless he provides you with the things that you need to become a success. Moses was commissioned by Yahweh 40 years earlier at Mount Horeb. On the backside of the desert, he is now being decommissioned by the Lord on Mount Nebo. And Moses is allowed in the book of Numbers, chapter number 27. He is allowed to see the land which the Lord has promised to him and promised to Abraham, promised to Isaac, and promised to Jacob. And now their descendants are at the point that they're going to cross over Jordan and they're going to inherit what the Lord has promised. When you think about it, it's similar to the church. The Lord has made promises to the church, told you, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'm going away, but I'm coming back to get you. Oh, hallelujah. I'm coming back to get you. Praise the Lord. These are promises. This is part of the inheritance of the saints. And now Moses' role in God's program was one that was unmatched by any leader in the biblical history that we read. He was a special shepherd over the flock of God who was tremendously used by the Lord to perform his will in the midst of God's plan. He played a unique role. He played a special uh, role in the program of God. Yet when it was time for Moses' role to end, even though Moses died, God's program continued because God doesn't change. Praise the Lord. His program doesn't change. Administrations change. Managers change. Stewardship changes. And those who work and labor in God's administration. But the Lord remains the same. Oh, praise the Lord. He remains consistent. He remains constant and faithful in performing his will. Because the Lord is perpetual. The Lord is invariable. He is trustworthy. Praise the Lord. And when something is always there, it doesn't need to change. Things change around him, but God remains the same. Listen to James chapter 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift come from above. And come down from the father of lights with whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. God's program is not based on a person's ability to actively continue and to participate in it. And what I'm saying is that Jesus died, but the church didn't die. The church still goes on from one leader, from one missionary, from one deacon to one preacher for one saint to another. God's program keeps on going. Praise the Lord. And when one leave, the Lord sent in two or three. Praise the Lord. But God's program will continue. If it didn't continue, the devil would have tried to destroy us a long time ago. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. When the person's season ends, someone else's season begins. And God is announcing to Moses that he is at the end of his assignment. He has brought God's people to 
a specific place. And now Joshua is transitioning into that predestinated position. When you hear the word predestination, you, you shouldn't become, first of all, you should look it up and see what it means. Praise the Lord. Because all of us are predestinated. All of us have been assigned. All of us are operating in what God has already appointed for our lives. Praise the Lord. And all you have to do is be faithful unto the Lord and he's going to bring it to pass. Oh, yes, he is. Praise the Lord. Joshua is now after years of training and preparation. He's connecting to the place of his destiny. Joshua has been mentored. Joshua has been monitored and instructed by Moses for 40 years. That's a long time to stay in a class. Praise the Lord. You, you, the Moses protege, Moses junior prophet. The Lord speaks to Moses and Moses gives instructions to Joshua. Well, thank you, Jesus. And it pays to be obedient to whoever's over you. Praise the Lord. I don't care if you're the last one from the bottom of the totem pole. Praise the Lord. Be obedient to who's above you. Praise the Lord. Don't you know obedience? There is a blessing. Praise the Lord. You don't look at people and say, well, look, I'm saved just like you. Sure, you saved. But the Lord positioned me over you. And I'm asking you to do it not for me, but do it for the Lord. Do it for Jesus Christ. He's the one that called you. Oh, praise the Lord. When you are faithful and obedient as a follower, you will be blessed and favored as a leader. I didn't hear nothing. I say when you are faithful and obedient as a follower, you will be blessed and favored as a leader. And sometimes the struggles that you go through while you wait for the transition from follower to a leader can be difficult and frustrating. Praise the Lord. But if Jesus Christ designated you to that position, it's yours. Praise the Lord. I can remember in my early days, I'm talking about when I was a deacon. Yes, sir. I've been a, 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 a junior deacon. I've been a deacon. I've been a minister. I've been a licensed minister, been an elder and a pastor, and now I'm a district elder. And in every one of those positions, I was faithful to the Lord. Praise the Lord. I didn't give my leaders any lip. Praise the Lord. They asked me to do something. I felt obligated to perform whatever it was. Because I wasn't looking at that lead. I was looking at Jesus Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. And I wanted him to bless my life. Oh, yes, sir. Praise God. Sometimes we get weary. But the word of God in Galatians chapter 6 and verse number 9 said, Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season you will reap if you faint not. Praise the Lord. It's no time to faint now, but it's time to dig in for the long haul. Oh, praise the Lord. Psalm 27 and verse number 13. David said, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Therefore, I'm going to wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen my heart wait i say on the lord praise the lord i've been around for quite some time praise the lord i will stop saying 40 years because it's more than 40 praise the lord and then i think about it and look in the mirror and see this gray hair praise the lord people think i'm an old man praise the lord so i've been around a long time and Sometimes I've seen people become impatient, praise the Lord. Instead of waiting on the Lord, they're going to run ahead of the Lord and they're going to do it their way. But that is not the way to become successful. Praise the Lord. You can't faint while you're waiting on your transition to take place. There is one thing that I've learned is that you can't make your own destiny. Praise the Lord. You can't make it be 
what you want it to be. It's already written. And all you have to do is wait till the Lord brings you into position. You can't force your destiny because your destiny, your future is already planned by God. Praise the Lord. You have to patiently wait and endure until your season comes. Well, thank you, Jesus Christ. Uh, Joshua had been chosen to succeed Moses before the children of Israel left Egypt. It was already a scheduled event in the mind of God. It hadn't taken place, but it was on God's schedule. Well, thank you, Jesus. Have you ever Ask yourself, I wonder what Jesus Christ has scheduled for me. I wonder what Jesus has scheduled in my life. Is it just going to church, coming home, going to work, and that's it? No, it's more to it than that. Praise the Lord. Jesus have you scheduled for great things. So he has events in your life that's going to take you from where you are to where the Lord wants you to be. Yep. It hasn't taken place yet, but it's on God's schedule yep. because the Lord has a schedule for everyone. Yep. He has a plan for everyone. He has a design for everyone. Uh, he has a assignment and an agenda yep. that you alone are able to fulfill. Yep. It is a set time and the Lord is going to reveal it to you. Too many times people are not patient enough when it comes to God's will in their lives. They don't realize that the Lord has a season for them. And everything that you have experienced up until now is part of your training. It is your necessary preparation. Oh, praise the Lord. I can remember the years of distress in Camden, trying to hammer out and preach out, praise God, a church large enough to expand. But that wasn't in the plan of God. But I didn't know it then. But I look back and I say, Lord, I thank you because while I was stressing, you had everything under control. Yep. Praise the Lord. What you've gone through now is just been preparatory training. Yep. Praise God. Necessary preparation. Uh, all of the tears, all of the setbacks, all of the disappointments, yep. the rejections and the enemies that attack you yep. and the haters that talk behind your back. Yep. It's all part of your training. Oh, yes, it is. Yep. And thank God for the training. Yep. Praise the Lord. God has a season for your life yep. that he will initiate a, a season that he begins. Praise the Lord. And that he alone establishes for you. Yep. Some people have run too fast. So they have moved too quick in an attempt to initiate their own season. But they have floundered and fallen. They have failed because it wasn't their time. Oh, thank God for the patience. Thank God for the perseverance. Thank God for the waiting on the Lord to move. Yep. Don't you know that the song said, praise the Lord, you can't hurry God. Yep. You can't make him expedite what he has for your life. Yep. You just have to wait on the Lord. Yep. Praise the Lord. You don't have to post stuff on Facebook. Uh, you don't have to advertise your credentials for somebody to notice you. Yep. You don't have to print up a flyer. Praise the Lord. And, and what is it when they, they fix a photo and they, they Photoshop it? Yep. Praise the Lord because the Lord already knows who you are. Yep. Oh, yes, he is. Yep. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ will let everyone know yep, that I'm transitioning you from a follower to a leader. 
So I'm bringing you up from the bottom to the top. So praise the Lord, I'm going to make you no longer a borrower. So, but you going to be a lender to all who ask. So, he's taking you from a place of obscurity. So, praise the Lord, giving you an anointing in favor. So, ask me how I know. Because so, the Lord been working in my life. So, and last night the Lord said, let the saints know that they are blessed and favored and they got to act like they know oh praise the Lord the Lord will let everybody know that I'm blessing my son I'm blessing my daughter and I'm going to use them to bring me some glory they're not just going to be the average saint Yep. But I'm going to empower their lives. Yep. I'm going to use them yep. as vessels under honor yep. and fit for the master's use. Yep. I want them to know yep. that I've blessed them. Yep. I've given them favor yep. and they got to act like they know. Uh, you got to understand yep. that where you are now is not where you're going to be. You got to understand that the Lord going to take you higher. Oh, praise the Lord. And higher in him. Understand your season. Evaluate where you are now. Praise the Lord. Am I on rewind? Yep. Does the Lord have me on pause? Yep. There's a season of trials yep. and a season of distress. Yep. But when you understand yep. the season you're in, yep. you'll understand your purpose. Yep. And when you understand your purpose, yep. you'll understand your destiny. Yep. Where Jesus is taking you. I don't mean just the church. He going to take you somewhere that's going to blow your mind. Oh, hallelujah. Don't just declare I'm blessed in favor. You're blessed to do what? You got favor to do what? You have a destiny. Oh, hallelujah. A specific purpose. I told you last week, I'm not going to leave the world the way I found it. I'm going to get souls ready for the kingdom of God. I'm going to tread on serpents. I'm going to trample on defeat dragons. I'm going to get the victory. Oh, yes, I am. Because Jesus ordained it. Jesus predestinated. And let the Lord use you the way he wants to. You can't just be used uh, when you want to be used. Uh, but tell the Lord, uh, have your way uh, in me, O oh Lord. Uh, use me uh, till you use me up. Uh, use my hands. Uh, use my voice. Uh, use my mind. Uh, use my body. Uh, there is an assignment. Da, along with that anointing da, and the anointing da, is going to take you da, where you need to go da, I'm so glad da, I don't need somebody da, to come in da, and tell me da, my destiny da, I don't need da, somebody da, to prophesy over me da, and tell me da, they going to speak into the atmosphere because I know who owns the atmosphere his name is above every name his name is wonderful his name is marvelous I don't need somebody to give me instruction the Holy Ghost did you hear me the Holy Ghost in you is the hope. It is the hope. 
It is the hope of glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the Lord gave me that message initially because he wanted me to let Chief Apostle Bonner know that I recognize how God had used him. Now, everyone in the organization knew that, but I wanted him to know that I recognize. And I dedicated this message to him. But the Lord changed it and said, tell the saints that they are blessed, highly favored, and you got to know it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> you have to know your position in Christ Jesus. You have to know the Lord has selected you. Praise the Lord for his glory and his purpose. You got to walk like it. You got to talk like it. You got to behave like it. Because some people will try to devalue you because you don't have substance. I got a house. You got an apartment. I got two cars and you catching the bus. What does that have to do in the economy of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. <laughs> the person they talking about say, yeah, you may have all that stuff, but you don't have an anointing. You don't have a prayer life. You don't know the word of God. Praise the Lord. So you're trying to appease God with all these things. And I'm just trying to get closer to Jesus Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. In the book of Numbers, prior to the Lord taking Joshua, uh, Moses up on Mount Nebo and letting him look out across the plain and see the promises, because the Lord forbid Moses to go. Praise the Lord. Moses made an error when the Lord said, I want you to bless my people. They're crying out for water. And Moses was supposed to go to the rock and ask the blessing from God upon his people. And Moses was, so, you know, save people to make you so mad. Praise the Lord. Get you out of character. Make you want to quit, leave your robes in the church and never come back. <laughs> Moses went to the rock and instead of blessing it, took his rod and smote the rock and called God's children rebels. Now the Lord kept blessing Moses, kept using Moses, kept him in leadership. But when it was time to cross over, the Lord said, no, you rebelled. You disgraced my name before the people. But I'm kind and I'm going to let you see what's going to come to pass. Prior to that, the Lord told Moses, call Joshua. I want you in front of the congregation to show them who the next leader will be. Well, praise the Lord. God always got a succession plan. Praise the Lord. God always got a succession plan. The Lord will never be scratching his head and saying, now who can I, who can I call? Who will go for me? The Lord already got it planned out. So he brings Joshua, calls Eleazar the priest. He lays hands on Joshua. Praise the Lord. And says to the people, this will be your leader. I'm only going to be able to take you so far. But Joshua going to take you all the way. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm so glad the Lord always has somebody designated to lead his sons and his daughters. Praise the Lord. Joshua recognized 
that he was a vessel in the hand of God. And when Moses died, the Lord spoke to Joshua and said, Moses, my servant is dead. His administration is over. Now, Joshua, I want you to arise and go over this Jordan. In other words, the beat of God goes on. Sometimes we get a little despondent when leaders die. And naturally, we love them. We appreciate their labor and sacrifice. But God continues to raise up another leader. Oh, praise the Lord. I want that word to stick in your heart and in your mind. Praise the Lord. When people try to make you think you don't have value, you don't have worth, praise the Lord. Talk down to you. Praise the Lord. No, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. And guess what? I know I am. Because Jesus Christ have given me that authority, that blessing and that favor. I'm so blessed that when there is no way made, the Lord will make a way for me. I'm so blessed that you build up a wall, the Lord will tear it down. I'm so blessed that I can pray and the Lord will hear my cry and do what I need him to do. Oh, praise the Lord. I am blessed. I am highly favored. And I know it. Somebody needs to hear that word. Those of you who are watching through the medium of Facebook, praise the Lord. Whatever you're going through, you're blessed by the Lord. Walk like you're blessed. Act like you're blessed. And when the devil come up against you, you tell him, Satan, get thee behind me. Praise the Lord. Because there is no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against me in judgment, the Lord will condemn. Bless you. Now, will you stand to your feet? And if you're blessed and you're highly favored, I want you to give the Lord the highest praise. You know what the highest praise is? It's hallelujah. If you're blessed and highly favored, give him the highest praise. Praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Praise him. Because he's wonderful. Praise him. Because he's marvelous. Praise him. Because he's altogether lovely. Let everything. Let everything. Let everything that have breath Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed, highly favored, and I know it.